Tuesday! Welcome to another super inspiring round of, uh, inspiration. Hello, Escape Control! Thank you for joining. Um, oh, hello, Esbiari Brown. Long time no see. Um, hello, Le Bon Pen. And Steve, hi! So, we've got the ink, we've got the pen, we've got the notebook. You already know what I'm going to do. I'm going to do this. First of all, the notebook, Clairefontaine, 1951, staple bound notebook, A5 size. Every week it gets more and more delectable. What are you talking about, Aziza? Oh, I'm talking about this. Now, I love that. I love the crinkle. So beautiful. Okay, so that's the notebook. Look at the colors. What, do we sh what should we do with this notebook when we're done? Interesting. Anyway. Um, the pen is my super trusty Pilot Parallel 6mm size. This parallel has been used and abused and it is still going. Now, I've done like 500 ink reviews with this thing and the Con 50 converter is only now starting to go. But the rest of the pen is perfectly fine. So, let us ink up the ink. I'm not going to tell you what it is just yet. I'm going gonna, gonna to make you suffer and be excited and wait. Okay. Got me got me nappy here to clean this ink off. Maybe I shouldn't call it a nappy. That sounds like a diaper. I have my napkin here. Um yes, it should be at a National Art Museum in the Museum of ASMR and Paper Crinkling. Now, the ink! You all want to know. I'm going to do something a little different. I'm not going to tell you what it is. Ooh, how horrible and cruel of me. Okay, so the notebook is the Claire Fontaine 1951. The pen, as always, is the outstanding pilot parallel. This is the six millimeter size. And the ink. Oh, let's do the ink now because you still don't know what it is. I'm kind of mean. Now, the ink is beautiful, as you can see. Gorgeous color. I'm letting you guess. I'm not saying anything. If you want to take guesses, if you have if you've already seen our Instagram story, you already know what the color is. If you have not, you do not know what the color is. But by now, if you know how to spell, you should know what I'm going to spell because it's pretty obvious. It's maroon. Now, maroon from what? Is it Robert Oster maroon? Is it diamine maroon? No! Oh boy. Guys, it's been a really crappy start to this week, so I'm trying to make you smile a bit. It's Quasi Maroon! Kowetsi! K W Z I! Lovely! Hello, everyone! Hi, Erin, Annabelle, Janine, Helen. Oh, God, you guys, this is uh, super exciting. It's like I have all my friends in the room. It's, I, I'm enjoying this. So, yes, Kowasi Maroon. Yes, yes, quasi maroon. Oh, is in a semi maroon. Hardy, har, har. Janine knew. You guys knew. Anyway, it's a really nice color. Let's write my standard fare of. Hello. But. I'm trying to like pay a bit more attention to my writing so that it's less hideous than it usually is. It's only semi successful. That did not work the way I wanted it to, but it's okay. Hello. All 
There we go. Oh, the professor has joined. Oh, that's great. Lovely. Yes, it is Ron Weasley. He didn't like his maroon jumper, but I, maybe it's because it clashes with his red hair. I'm not sure. Really nice color. Now, my experience with these inks is positive. They are quite well behaved. They are definitely on the wet side. Um, so if you're looking for a wetter ink, this is a great option. So I would say this is pretty work appropriate. Right? Like, you could use... It's like it's not a correcting color of red. Um, definitely legible, even in a fine. Like, so if we write on the side of this nib, it's super legible. Um, no issues there. It's not the type of red that is super hard to clean. Okay, so let's take a look at the best part. I know what you're all waiting for. You're waiting for swab time. Here is my quasi maroon swab. Now I'm trying to see, like you can kind of see it has a bit of a pink to it. Really nice shading, a little bit of sheen, but not really heavy on the sheen. So actually for work, like I, I have a couple friends who actually don't like inks that sheen for work. So this is a great option. You know, not just like a blue, not just a black. It's a nice maroon not sheeny, legible. So we've got quasi maroon. You know, what? I'm going to put that here. Now I'm going to show you my favorite comparison first. It is the Mont Blanc. Um, no, that wasn't the favorite one. Sorry, I threw it out of order. Okay, never mind. Ignoring that. Quasi maroon. Next up. Oh, Mill Cockfield. Hello, Mill. Nice to see you. Millabun J. Cockfield. The Mont Blanc Velvet Red. This is discontinued they're not a perfect match but you know like in the similar category obviously this is more red but you know if you're looking for something similar it's an option we have Bung bungle box uh piano mahogany which is more similar but heavier on the sheen and i think a bit more brown so um that's one option. We've got Robert Oster Burgundy, which is far more bright, a lot more red. Kobe 39 Brick Brown Red. Way brown, like it's obviously not the similar category, but you know, just sharing. We've got Kobe number six Bordeaux. This is far more purple and it's got a lot more sheen on it. Pilot Hiroshizuku Yamabuto, one of my favorite inks on the planet. In fact, I, several years ago, I was asked, like, what was my Desert Island ink? And this was the one I had picked. So, um, it's a lot more pink as well, and it's got a lot of sheen on it. Robert Oster Maroon. Now we're getting somewhere super interesting, right? Because they're both maroon. Um, yeah. I think the Robert Oster Maroon is actually darker. It can get more saturated there. And um, it goes a bit lighter. Now, of course, it always depends on your swab and stuff. But if you're using a fine nib, you're probably not going to notice the difference. But I think they're a pretty close match. Now, we also have another close match that is not called maroon. It is the Kyo no Oto Adzukiro or Adzukairo. I'm not sure. But um, similar. Low sheen. Nice shading, kind of on the pink side. So like these are these are my favorites so far. I'm gonna put these two aside. We've got Bungu Box Clown Teardrop Ruby Red. It is similar, but super heavy on the sheen. So you know, depends on what you like. Sailor Yodaki, which is far more red and again heavy on the sheen. We've got Kobe number 27 Kunan Maroon. Nice color. In fact, again, very similar, but as all Kobe Bungle Box inks, like, oh, sorry, like all Kobe Bungle Box inks, it's got a lot more sheen on it. We've got Diamine's 150th Anniversary Burgundy Royale. Interesting. Kind of similar as well. Um, now, Quasi has like 10,000 ink colors, so we've got Quasi Maroon number two, which is definitely more pink to my eyeball. 
you might not be able to tell from my crappy phone camera, but um, what I can see is the maroon number two is more pink. So we've got quasi brown number two, definitely more brown. Um, quasi flame red. Kobe number four, Kita Kitano Ijankin red. Ijankin? Anyway, I don't know. Definitely more red, not, not similar. Uh, Robert Oster, Astor Kiza Rot, which is more red, a lot brighter. More like the um, Shakespeare red, I think. We've got Quasi Iron Gall Red. I don't know why I threw this in there because obviously it's very purple red. Anyway, Robert Oster, Australian Shiraz. Pretty, but this is more purple. The Quasi Maroon is more red. And last couple of ones, we've got Quasi Iron Gall Red number three. Giobain Cafe des Iles. I put it in just so you can see something like a bit brown. And um, Blackstone's Brown Baronia, again, so you can see something a little brown. So if you're looking for the closest matches, I'm thinking we've got these three. Robert Oster Maroon, Kyo no Oto Azukiro, and mm, the, here we got just our regular Maroon here. So there you go. There's some swabby swabby time for your eyeball pleasure. Now let's move on to some words. Throw words at me. Give me something to write because otherwise I'm going to write, uh, uh, I'm gonna write hello. Stain, okay, thank you. Thank you, uh, Millibund, that's disgusting. But I'm going to do it anyway. This is a gorgeous ink, holy smokes. Superb ink coverage. Okay, that's enough words from you. Thank you. Um, superb ink coverage. It's got a little bit of shading on the edges. Now, this is a super wet writer, so you can expect a little more variation from something like this as opposed to something like a fine nib. So if you're writing with an extra fine and it's dry and you're disappointed in the color, it's probably because you're writing with an extra fine. Uh, thank you, Pim. I will not be writing that word. So we are writing stain because I stupidly listened to Mr. Mill Cuckfield, but I actually think it looks really awesome. Seriously, look how gorgeous that color is. I do not need more ink, but I really like this. Beautiful. Hello, Roy. Thank you for joining. So that is stunning. That S was killer, wasn't it? Like, come on. Pretty amazing. Now, how do you spell supercalifragilisticexpialidocious? Let me see. Let me see if I can fit that in here. Super... What does this word even mean? It's not even a word. Fragilistic. X P I okay. X P I docious. Ha! I did write it and it did fit. Awesome. It's Actually, seriously, that's a really nice color in a wet fine nib. Um, okay. No, I do remember it from Mary Poppins, but like, what does it mean, you know? What is it? Anyway, it doesn't matter. An exclamation of something? Um, okay, so I'm gonna write just random things so we can see how the ink looks. Now, if you know me, you know I like wet writers, wet inks, and I want all the colors, which is the sign of a healthy ink affection. It is a need. This is definitely a, ne a need color. And like, honestly, it's $15 for 60 mils, and that seems pretty, pretty decent to me, so. Um, okay. 
I guess we're gonna wrap it up now because I have rambled forever and you probably wanna resume your life, get back to work. That, that was fun. I know you can't really see this, but my tripod leg is in the way, so. Thank you, thank you all for joining. I hope this was fun. I hope you've been sufficiently inspired. And if you are currently grieving the loss of someone from the pen community, my deepest condolences to you. The best way to move on or accept it is to have fun with your pens and ink because that's what Jim would have wanted. So thank you all. I hope you have a wonderful week. Take care. We'll see you next time. Bye.